we are making fish, grilled fish. Look how beautiful this mahi mahi I got. It's locally caught and it's fresh and juicy. It's beautiful and I like, love, love, love to grill fish. This fish is going to serve with miso butter and I'll show you how to make this delicious and good for you miso butter. And for the ingredients we need, super simple, very <laughs> staple, probably every kitchen has, every pantry. Salt, pepper, freshly ground, and I'm using Celtic salt. A little bit of cumin. If you don't like, you can skip it, but I highly recommend. Will pair nicely with lime miso butter lately. A little bit of uh, garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, and cayenne. Just a tiny bit. If you don't want any heat, skip it. But I like it. <laughs> and that's for the fish. And I'm going to serve with grilled asparagus pretty simple classy everyone likes and it's always nice fish and uh, asparagus together and for the miso butter again simple ingredients good quality of butter i'm using unsalted make sure you use unsalted it's important because miso, and miso it's fermented soybeans it's very salty and it depends what kind of miso it's very of uh, salt uh, sodium it can be a um, dark brown, white, red miso. It depends which one you use and which, whichever you have on hand use. Um, whichever I'm using, I will link below and I will link um, affiliated link for this particular brand I love and I'm using for uh, probably more than five years the same brand I keep buying. It's a good quality and lasts in the refrigerator forever, literally forever, many, many, many months. So well worth to buy and I will also link below another recipe where I use miso. It's very good for your gut, fermented soybeans. And the last ingredient is lime. We're going to use lime zest and lime juice. That's it, let's do it. Our water is boiling and now we're going to blanch just for one minute. garlic powder and onion powder look how beautiful and gorgeous this asparagus and smell delicious I love asparagus let rest for one minute while we're making miso butter yeah. and for the miso butter we need to Half cup of good quality of butter, room temperature, that's the key, room temperature. Unsalted, one heaping tablespoon of miso butter, you can, uh, miso, uh, miso paste, I'm sorry. And half teaspoon of garlic powder. Not garlic salt. Depends on size of your lime. Mine is quite a bit big, unusual for lime. I will use half lime. If it's small, use four. It has such a beautiful umami flavor and smell. I love it. I love even sometimes smear on bread for the dinner party. Uh, really, so many. Uh, ways to use miso butter so I always have on hand in my refrigerator and for the fish I would like to prepare with paper dry we want really nice and dry nice beautiful thick for the spice very simple black pepper about one teaspoon and salt about one teaspoon or half teaspoon of so. salt garlic powder onion powder cumin and 
cayenne pepper, just a pinch. Maybe two. <laughs> and just sprinkle on your fish. Low the heat and apply about two tablespoons of miso butter on each piece. Look at this, how beautiful bubbling brown butter. It's irresistible, it's delicious. I don't like to overcook fish, so just two, three minutes per side, it's enough. But if you like well, well done, keep it for five minutes. It depends on how thick your fish, so keep eye on <laughs> No one like robbery fish. How beautiful and gorgeous. I think it's perfect for your um, dinner party and it's great for our back grill. It's easy. We also have extra miso butter you can use on bread or you can add and serve individual little butter on each plate for each guest. It's up to you. And I like to serve with a little bit of white rice or any rice of your choice, or just as it is. The rice is not necessary. And here we go. Can't wait to taste. But before we taste, as always, I want to see what we're going to do next time. What we're going to make next time. Fried green tomatoes. <laughs> Love to make a perfect bite <laughs> with a little bit of everything. I have to say it's one of the best mahi mahi I have ever tried. <laughs> Definitely, you have to make it. It's so delicious, so yummy, so fresh, light, easy to make. Took five minutes for miso butter, five minutes for fish, and then on a table. Thanks for watching and I hope you give it to try this recipe soon and as always for full recipe in the description below and for similar recipe you may like and subscribe, share with your friends. Bye, see you next time.